223,000 jobs added in December. The unemployment rate down to 3.5%. Whoa, historically, that's very low. Ryan Payne, market guy, with me this morning. The market seems to like this number. Do you? Stuart, just as much as I love your tie, I love this uh, report. It pops. It pops, man. It pops. Um, <laughs> no, this is, this is, you know, I'm not even talking about this, and I don't want to sound Pollyannish, because sometimes I feel like I do, but, you know, you've heard all these naysayers talking about how the economy is ready to fall off a cliff, and this just further proof, you know, you have strong employment. Now you have wages going up slower, which yep. means inflationary pressure is going down, and that's what we've been waiting for. So it's kind of like the best of all worlds here when you think about the economy and you think about where the consumer is right now, if you have jobs still, uh, your wages are going up and inflation is starting to come down. Like I've been saying all along here, this is a soft landing. This is what it looks like. And I think we're actually going to get it. The consensus amongst economists is that we are going to have some kind of recession and they're all over the place, whether it's severe or yes. not so severe. You think it will be a very soft landing. Is that where you're coming from? That's where I'm coming from. And I think the data just speaks to that over and over again. It keeps, you know, in face of all these strategists and economists. I mean, look at the other the, the stat I look at, too, is lending is actually going up. Banks are lending more money. It's accelerating. It did go into the end of last year. When you have a recession, people start to dial back. You start to dial back lending, yet it's doing the exact opposite. So I think you know, all signs point to we've got a strong economy. Uh, we have a relatively strong economy. Uh, the Fed has done a good job of slowing it down because you know, real estate's falling off a cliff or yeah. anything that's interest rate sensitive. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, most industry sectors are doing well besides tech. Tech's the only place that's getting clobbered here, and that's not the entire economy. OK, you guys pretty much fully invested in the stock market? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. All your money, stocks. I was last year, and you know, if you were diversified last year, you didn't get hit that hard. You know, I was very bullish on your show. But I think going into this year, if you look at I me, mean, look, if you look across the pond, uh, England literally didn't go down last year. Uh, Europe has already rebound this year. China's going up again. If China opens up this year, that's going to be huge for the global economy. So there's just so many things that can go right right now that you've got to have it invested in a global portfolio. You've got to be in. You can't be sitting on the sidelines waiting because once, you know, Things don't, uh, they don't settle down, they settle up.